Hey guys, if you like what you hear, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I would be so happy if you support me on Patreon. Have fun! Wow, hey bestie, you're home early. Did something happen? Oh, guess I better go see what's up. Hey, are you okay? Can I come in? Weren't you supposed to be on a date with that girl you met online? You were, but something changed. Okay, what happened? You got to the restaurant before her to get a good table. Yeah, that makes sense. I know seating at that place can be difficult. Then what happened? Your date walked into the restaurant and you got her attention. You got up to pull out her chair. Ooh, that's very gentlemanly of you. Okay, I'm sorry. Keep going. When you stood up, she stopped walking towards you, and she just stared at you. Oh no, did you have something on your shirt? In your teeth? No? Then what was she looking at? She said what? She said she couldn't date a guy that was shorter than her. And just left? What a bitch! I mean, come on. For her to be so shallow that she can't even sit down and get to know you and then just judge you like that. What's her number? I want to give her a piece of my mind. Hey, wait. Are you crying? Oh, hey. Hey, come here. You did not... You did nothing wrong. She's the dumb ass that couldn't take a couple of hours to get to know what an amazing person you are. What do you mean she's not wrong? No. Hey, stop. Okay. At first, I was mad at her, but now I'm mad at you. Yes, I'm mad at you. Did you really just say that no one's ever going to want to date you because you're shorter than most guys? First off, for people to automatically judge you on something that you couldn't control, that's their choice and has nothing to do with you. Secondly, if they can't take the time to get to know you and get over the fact that you're shorter than them, forget them. You don't need them in your life. You need someone that loves you, not just part of you, but all of you. And I know, I know you will find someone. Someone that loves you for who you are. Someone that loves your personality and the body you are in. <sighs> Someone that loves you like I do. What? Of course I love you. Could you really not tell that I have feelings for you? How long have I had feelings? Mm. Do you remember when we went to the bar celebrating your getting that job? We sat down for a bit. Then all of a sudden, those three drunk guys came up to you and started harassing you about your height. You just sat there and let them finish. And without missing a beat, you knocked out the biggest one out of the three. 
Their mouths dropped to the floor, and you said, Does anybody else have anything to say? My feelings were developing for you before then, but that was the thing that did it for me. <laughs> Seeing you stay completely calm while they were saying all that stuff and then standing up for yourself without hesitation. That's why I fell in love with you. I love how confident you are. I love that you own your height and don't care what other people think. And besides your body, I love your sense of humor. <laughs> I love how kind and compassionate you are to anyone you meet. That deserves it, of course. I love you. All of you. Hmm. Wow. You don't know how long I wanted to do that. Why didn't I say anything sooner? The basic answers are that I didn't want to ruin our friendship and I didn't know if you felt the same way. But the main reason was because you are shorter than me. I know, I know, I'm no better than her. It's just that I was worried that people would judge me for being into someone that was shorter than me. But seeing you like this and hearing my own words, I realized I shouldn't care what other people think. They don't get to choose how I can and cannot date just because of the appearance. So what? You're shorter than me. I think you being shorter than me is hot and that's the only thing that matters, not what they think. Can you forgive me for thinking just like her? Hmm. Thank you. Thank you for understanding and forgiving me. She had the chance to get to know one of the greatest people she would have ever known. And she just threw that chance away. And now that I have you... I'm not letting you go. I'm not letting anyone else get the chance to hurt you. 